Okay. We're going to give Luis some, uh, a bit of space off the back just because Marty Jones, you know, we'll probably walk forward just so he has some room to walk back a little bit. You guys just want to stay on, on this side of the horse just so the horse feels he's got some open space to come over should he need to. This horse here is Marty Jones. You know, horse that needs very little introduction. I've got my little, my little pin on here. Go, Smarty, go. Now, Smarty Jones would be our most famous horse here. The reason being, this guy was an underdog. Everybody loves to cheer for an underdog, especially one that does well. Smarty Jones is the, he's 16 years. He's not the larger than life for a Reggie expectancy win in the Kentucky Derby. He's not a Kentucky bred. 95% of the Kentucky Derby winners would be Kentucky bred. Reason being, the best stallions are here in Kentucky. The best fruit bears are here in Kentucky. Here in Kentucky. Your entire industry is based on the idea that you breed the best mare for the best time and will produce the best offspring. So that's why 95% of the Kentucky Derby winners would come from here. This guy's a Pennsylvania bred. I can absolutely guarantee he's the only Pennsylvania bred ever winning the Kentucky Derby. As you can see, Smarty Jones has a, has a bit of a temper on him. He knows he's this big famous horse. So, Smarty Jones. He, he, he was an underdog. He came from smaller backgrounds. He wasn't a 